I'm Dr. Halpin from Stem Cell Vet. We're often asked about hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia is a deformity of the hip joint as it grows. Hip joint is a ball and socket joint, and if the ball and the socket don't grow at equal rates, then there's a deformity in the joint. So hip dysplasia usually will manifest in puppyhood and get worse as time goes on. And because the ball and socket are not growing at equal rates, there's a laxity in the joint, and this results in arthritis or degenerative joint disease um, as the dog gets a little bit older. So we more commonly see hip dysplasia in German Shepherds, Labrador Retrievers, Golden Retrievers, um, Old English Sheepdogs and larger breeds. And we also see hip dysplasia in larger mixed breeds, but any breed can suffer from hip dysplasia. So common signs with hip dysplasia are difficulty rising or lying down, difficulty going upstairs or downstairs, difficulty getting in and out of the car, um, sometimes exercise intolerance where the dogs don't want to go as far as they used to, and sometimes we will also appreciate pain or discomfort. So for hip dysplasia, depending on the age of the dog when hip dysplasia is diagnosed and also how severe the dysplasia is, surgical options like uh, TPO, um, femoral head and neck excision, and also total hip replacement are surgical options. Stem cell therapy can really help for reducing inflammation and pain in the joint and reducing the uh, worsening of degenerative joint disease.